I thought it was about time that I actually made a reappearance on YouTube after so many people have been asking when I will be back on YouTube. Um, I can't guarantee any sort of continuous um, posting. But I, will, I, I will try and I will try and I will try and post when I can. <laughs> So classic me, I was filming for ages and ages giving you all a massive update on my life and the camera was facing the wrong way so I'm doing a little voiceover here but basically I now have three macaws. The scarlet macaw you can see here flying towards me is Loki. Welcome to Loki. He is my newest latest last macaw. Um, Loki is a free fly already it took him 13 days to learn how to free fly it was a super easy process I'm not really sure why it was so easy to free fly him but it was he did super super well his parents are a one of them is a scarlet macaw and the other one is a shamrock macaw which is also a hybrid so he's a second generation hybrid I'm not a massive fan of hybrids I'm definitely not a fan of that sort of second generation type thing I don't like the idea of them of hybrids being bred to make more hybrids and more colors it's just it really really goes against nature you just wouldn't find this sort of thing in the wild um however his owner was desperate for him to go somewhere that wasn't going to breed him so yes I ended up with him he's got his forever home with me where he will never breed he will never produce children um so yeah that's my three macaws I realised that um, I realised that uh, flying three macaws. Oh God, get off! And holding a camera is basically impossible. Um, watch. Oh, you did it! I thought we were gonna have a fight. Holding a camera and three macaws is basically impossible. But look at this weather! Look at the sky! I think the last time I filmed with, uh, for YouTube was summer... I don't know, two summers ago maybe? Which is crazy. So this morning I had sweet potato for breakfast. Sweet potato with some of the bird sprouts on top. And um, because if you go back to my other videos, this is what I looked like. And I do not want to look like that again. Go on, I do not want to look like that again. <laughs> um, yeah, we're not we're not going back to fat puffy Carly ever again. But that was because of my sugar addiction. I had such a bad sugar addiction. I still do. But the thing is, I've incorporated fasting into my life. So I'll do like a 36 hour fast once a week. Um, and obviously I get out walking every day. I spend loads of time outside. Spend loads of time with the birds and the kids. Um, and yeah, so I've, I've actually since... Last summer, since summer, since summer 2023, I've lost four and a half stone. Oh, you just sneezed into my eyeball. <laughs> but I think most of it was visceral fat, so like the fat around the organs, gross. I was literally walking towards diabetes and death. Look how beautiful you look in the sun. You're so special. Um, oh, yeah, also. <laughs> I work for the World Parrot Trust now, which is amazing. I have literally the world's best job. I don't think anyone has a better job. <laughs> no, I, I'm, people probably do, but I obviously parrots and conservation and uh, protecting wildlife is all my sort of bag. And um, no, you do not go down my front to steal treats. Now I work for the World Parrot Trust full time and um, it's just heaven. It's just heaven. I work protecting these guys in the wild whilst also owning them, free flying them and helping people look after their birds through my own sort of social media channels. Um, so yeah, I, I just feel so, so privileged to have a job that encompasses absolutely everything that I adore in life. I've found my purpose in life. I found my passions. 
um, and I just feel incredibly lucky for that. But also because it's charitable and it's making a difference to the world, I think it just, I don't know, it does something to your soul. And I love all the, the idea of um, sort of raising your vibration and like energy work uh. and things like that. Uh. What was that? Improving like myself as a person, improving my energy, just because I love the idea of doing things that improve my soul and my spirit and my energy. And yeah, I think anything charitable, anything that makes a difference to anything or anyone that is, um, no, Loki, that's no fucking bird just helped himself to drinks. Um, yeah, doing any sort of charitable work or helping anything or anyone that is in need of help and support where you can it, it raises your vibration it does something to your energy it does something to you as a person it changes you as a person so i think the fact that no 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 don't do that but i think the fact that i work for a charity full time um is just yeah it's just improving my soul so yeah that's that news back to the world parrot trust full time obviously content creating full time i've managed to make this a living of its own um and then i just wanted to give another update on shelby hi can I have a kiss i wanted to give another update on shelby's plucking situation there she is we seem to be quite stable at the moment with plucking Ooh. um she's sort of reached a plateau she's not plucking any more or any less at the moment she's obviously her legs and hips and belly are quite bald around her neck is bald and she has no down feathers but that's it really she's not doing anywhere else oh there's a few patches on her wings so i've done so much to try and combat this and and try and work out what is causing this and to no avail and there's only so much money i have because the insurance doesn't cover it before i can start again so um i am going to get her in the vet again soon uh, what is this in front of? oh it's the floor um, I'm going to get her in the vet again soon because we're going to start testing for bacterial infections and bone deficiencies or mineral deficiencies. No. Nope. Wow, good birds. Shelby just landed in stinging nettles. I think she stung herself. Are you okay? Oh, Shelby, is it hurt? Anyway, we're coming to the end of our fly now and there's only one way these guys will shower these days and this is how they love to shower. Right, one, don't fight, two, three. So this is the only way the birds will shower. Isn't it very pretty? So this is probably a good opportunity to show you what her plucking looks like. No down feathers, bald around the legs, but she seems to be maintaining all of this, don't you? Silly bird. You good? You enjoy your shower? Look who we've got here! This is Sammy. So yes, there are four birds in my flock now. <laughs> Three macaws and an African grey called Sammy. But this is Sammy. She was a family member's bird. She's still his bird, really. Uh, I'm just her adopted mother. She lives with me now, but she's 17 years old. And she's lived with her previous owner her whole life. And yes, yeah, do you know what? Should you get an African grey if you want to get a parrot? I've always said no. I've always said don't get an African grey because they're the hardest, they're the most intelligent. But now that I own one, I've fallen in love with African greys. They are the sweetest, most intelligent, most 
gentle, loving birds. Their noises aren't horrendous. Um, obviously they're still loud sometimes. Sometimes she's so loud that my phone beeps and tells me that my environment is, <laughs> is so loud it could damage my hearing. But it's a weird, it's like a high pitched whistle that she does and she does it for about five seconds and then stops. Um, but she's just, I think the worst part of owning African greys is the dust. I mean, if I, look, this is her five seconds on me. The dust from African greys is crazy. Like my, my air purifier is constantly going off on red. Like it's always on its highest setting because it's automatic. Um, and they produce so much dust, so much more than the macaws. If the macaws are in here, the, the they produce all three less dust than she Ooh. does on her own. Where are you off to? Yeah, the dust is no joke. I just, if you're asthmatic or have any sort of breathing, lung problems, allergies, anything like that, I just could not ever recommend an African Grey, but for me, she's just the sweetest, sweetest little darling. Aren't you? She's always shaking. <laughs> Why are you shaking all the time? Anyway, that is Sammy, but she is the fourth member of the flock. So we've got Shelby, Tommy, Loki. Shelby actually just turned four a few weeks ago. I totally forgot. Loki, uh, no, Tommy turns five in July. Loki turns four in July. And Sammy is 17-ish, we think. But I don't know when her birthday is or anything like that. Um, but yeah, so that's all of the flock members. Yeah, but I hope you enjoyed this. I didn't want to make it a huge, long, cinematic, uh, you know, like well-produced video. Just more of a, I'm still here. <laughs> If you want to see daily updates, then head over to Instagram, TikTok, Facebook even, and now Snapchat and threads. Basically everywhere. <laughs> That's it. That's my flock. Obviously, the children are still here, my two children. They're at school right now. I think after all of that sun that we've just had, it's about to rain. But yeah, little life update, a little bit of the flock, how we're all getting on. Uh, but hopefully i'll be back with lots more as the summer goes on if you're not already subscribed please do um we're gaining about ten thousand subscribers a month at the moment which is mental um and that's kind of why i felt like i needed to break, do like a comeback video because we're getting so many new subscribers and, and i feel bad that i'm not producing anything for these people to see so um <clears throat> yeah welcome to everyone that's new thank you for subscribing and we'll see you hopefully very soon.